Hi, Jay Morris here, Cuba Rushford Central School. I'm involved with the technology, work with a great team of people on staff, and more importantly, an outstanding group of students in our district. And we're helping the students work on making the world a better place. I use a Prezi here. Hopefully this will help you understand what our next steps and goals are with these Dell 2110s going home with your students. And where I want to start is uh, it's an extremely challenging time as we make cuts throughout, including in technology, and uh, there's three paths that we can take. Scenario one would be slow cuts, and they aren't very slow at the size of the deficit right now, that will erode public education. Or we can tinker around the edges trying to protect the students and their learning. Um, or we can take some significant steps, which you have heard about, and redesign schooling and improving the process and the outcomes and the sustainability and doing that um, at the same time looking for ways to improve the rate and way the students are learning and uh, my goal is to do that at a rate that would be similar to what Moore's Law is or you know how do we do that so they can learn twice as fast in ways that are fun and they enjoy. Um, it has been shown and reported that spending on tech-based learning systems is one of the more effective ways to help students as they take more personal responsibility for their learning. Um, we're able to even take this step right now because of some of the great things that have been done in the past by students and staff, and that is to create the culture that we have at Cuba Rushford that is really, really good right now. Um, we get together, we brainstorm, we talk about, you know, why is this important? Well, there are limitations with uh, instructional methods that have been used in the past decade. And we want to overcome them and meet new instructional goals. And by having greater availability to technology to the students, they can develop their skills with 24-7 access, learn more responsibility, um, do research on items that are for school projects. And personally, I think even more importantly, things that are really important to them and their family and friends um, that is, you know, productive, good, safe things that they can be learn learning about. I see one of our students uh, just chewing up all kinds of great information about tropical fish and plants and those type of things uh, you see learning going on at Moore's Law and way beyond. Um, so we're putting instruction first and using the tools that we have to help allow that instruction to take place. Some important details that go along with that is helping you and your students understand the proper care and feeding of these devices, um, working with the teachers so their instruction and assignments take advantage of these devices, and the tech department being there so that the students don't get stopped by hurdles that they can't overcome. The reasoning behind, um, I'm not going to go into each one of these stickies in full detail, but if you'd like to read them, feel free. Um, you know, it's a digital world. Our children, the students that are at Cuba Rushford, are digital citizens, and they have capabilities and capacities that we need to uh, allow them to use so they can learn at rates that uh, keep up with the rest of the world. The instructional goals um, are here, and there's more that I didn't list, but again, it's spontaneous research on things that are important to the students. And by giving them more access, we hope we allow them to be better with the tools and be able to share what's important to them and others to make the world a better place. And I think of this small group, um, you know, this is our beta test. We are looking for the students of Rushford to be very successful by being able to have these Dell 2110s on the evenings that the teachers send them home with them. It'll be just the fourth and fifth grade students here at Rushford. Um, we're choosing them to do it first because they've shown great abilities in taking excellent uh, care and advantage of this tool in the classroom on a regular basis. And this gives them a connection to the world. 
and it also helps them to become good digital citizens. When I think about New York City, wonderful place to go, great place to uh, learn lots of great information, but there are dangers in the city, and you have to be aware of those dangers. And we're looking to the parents and the rest of our staff to help those students recognize that and be safe and smart digital citizens. Um, when I think about the beliefs, time on task using a fun tool is a belief I have it's going to help the students. There's more details there that can be dug into, um, but you know, what we're looking for with this pilot is to see that the fourth and fifth grade students at Rushford have a benefit from this, and it's a worthwhile objective to continue working with them and the rest of their friends and classmates to grow this program. I compare it to chopping wood. If a student has a pencil and a pad of paper, they can get so much done. If they have a saw, it's a bow saw, they can get so much wood cut. If they have a chainsaw, they can get a little bit more wood cut. If they have powerful tools and they can increase the rate and way that they're able to learn about things of interest to them that have uh, benefits for this world, then we're doing what we're morally responsible to do here at school, and that is prepare them for whatever they choose to do after high school. And part of that is, yeah, they need to be hard workers. They need to be able to split and cut a lot of wood, but they need to have the knowledge and the skills to work in today's world. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief outline of what I'm thinking about. And I'm thinking about this because of some great input I've gotten from fellow staff, from students, from people um, actually around the world, very um, dedicated to what's best for students and what's best for our future and their future. So now I'd like to take some questions and answers. Please email your questions to me at the letter J, M-O-R-R-I-S, that's J Morris, at crcs.wnyric.org. And I look forward to getting back to you um, within 24 hours when I get those questions. Thank you so much for listening.